Guys, Ace here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make a server, a Minecraft server, for absolutely free on a Mac, and it can run 24-7. So the first thing that you need to do is go to the first link in the description, which will be dl.bucket.org. Also, one more thing. The reason why I made, I'm made, i going to be making this video is because on my previous video, um, some things changed and some people couldn't get their server working, so I'm, I'm going to be making this video more clearly and more like much better so yeah so the first thing that you need to do is go to the link for link in description let me just clear this okay go to the first link in description and then you'll come to a page like this you want to click on alternate versions and then you want to select your latest version that you're using right now so bucket keeps updating their version list once like new updates come out and they'll like update it and when in like a week or so they'll get a new the new version will come out and then you want to download the latest build just wait a little bit until we're waiting let me create a new folder um, name it minecraft server or whatever you want you can name this anything that you want I'm going to name, name it minecraft server open it up then go to the second link in the description which will be this and click on mac os x and this is a mac tutorial guys if you didn't know i'm sorry i will try to make a windows tutorial later but whenever I get spare time but now I'm just making a Mac tutorial um so then you wanna drag it to your desktop actually into your folder and rename it to once the craft bucket downloads you wanna rename it to craft bucket dot jar and just take away all that weird stuff and you'll be left with this okay and then you wanna open up text edit if you don't know how to open it up you can click on this search bar up here and type in text edit open it up and then you'll come to this then now you wanna copy this this area and paste it into text edit command C command V and then you, you t this is this area right here is how much RAM you wanna give your computer um, RAM is basically how much memory your server will is going to have and how the more RAM you have the faster your server is going to run and like the better it will run so to check how much RAM your computer has you're going to click on this Apple logo at the top left corner and then click on about this Mac and then you'll come this will open up and your memory is right here this is the RAM I've got four gigabytes of RAM so I can give it about half of that which is two gigabytes but I'm going to leave it as it is right now and then the next thing that you want to do is click on format and make it a plain text Okay. Okay, and then save it as a start dot command. Start dot command. M M A N D. There we go. And then just save it to your desktop. Hit save, and it should get saved. And drag it into your Minecraft server folder. The next thing that you want to do is open up terminal. If you don't know how to open up terminal, click on the search button, spotlight button up here, and then type in ter, and it should come up open it and then you, what you want to type in now this much for you very carefully I'll also display this on the screen but this is what you do C H M O D space A plus X space then you want to drag in your start dot command and then hit enter there we go and now just close it and you want to run it once now sorry I accidentally opened it twice so they brought in this new thing which you have to do because Minecraft got some server things and they changed and you have to agree to the EULA -E and so basically what you want to do is close out of that open up EULA and change this to true and there we go and then you want to start the server again shouldn't take too long we'll just wait a little while and it should just open up it prepares everything and all these files in your folder will generate don't worry will you'll need these files to run your server so until then let me explain some files um, so basically these are normal don't worry about them the plugins you can go to do the bucket plugins.com basically plugins are mods for your server you can get admin tools fun stuff anything that you want there's world edit and everything that you can use on your server this is where you get it from you basically download it drag the file into your plugins folder and run the server and then the plugin plugin should work and these are the server properties you can change stuff around the op permissions server port um level type just you can like change that to flat to make it a flat world um level seed 
and all these stuff. Just you can change your data around max players, view distance, and the the text that shows up when you open it up, when you when you're in the server menu. Um, yeah, so you can mess around with these if you wanna. Yeah, if you want to. But now let me show you guys how to get your IP. So let's close this, and you guys need to follow these steps very carefully. So you wanna go to port map. Um. But you have to get port map. Basically, what this is, this is like, this helps you. Like, it's better than port forwarding, but yeah, it helps you get the IP and it runs good. Yeah. So once you, so you want to download the application. I've already done that. So I'm gonna open it up. Let me get rid of this, guys. And then I'm gonna just turn it on. I'll just start searching, and then your IP should show up. So this is the IP which you want to give your friends and everything, and. The, this is the other IP which you can use um, yourself and so to make this IP worse you want to click on this plus sign right here then type in 25565 five, and change the description to um, Minecraft just leave everything as it is and then add the mapping it'll load for a bit and then it'll come up with unmapped if this um, if the port map doesn't work for you, you need to go and learn how to port forward. Um, there's different things for different routers. So if this if the port map doesn't work for you, you need to go get your IP port forwarded. But if this does work for you, then you can you're able to continue. You wanna just you can close this, and then you now next up. I'm also gonna show you one thing before I show you that this server works. I'm gonna go into there's another thing called noip.com and you can just you can um, sign up and then you wanna go to my let me go to my account for a second and then click on host and redix and then let me just recreate this. You click on add a host and you can name it whatever you want. There we go, that's what I'm gonna call it. Um, yeah, there we go. And you can have all this stuff behind you know how the the better IP type thing you like instead of having all those numbers you can have these instead of it and just that and then you want to just create it address just leave everything as it is at a host and there we go that should also work now I'm gonna show you that this server works perfectly um so I'm gonna open it up start dot command there it is start it open up Minecraft as well. both loading um, that's done and now let me just log in play let my mods do all its things so yeah guys if you didn't know I've created a new channel um, Ace Plays MC because my old channel was Captain Man but now it's Ace MC I made a pretty decent type intro I don't know it's not too good it's not too bad oh whoops sorry I had to stop the video before because um I spelt command wrong and yeah that's why um so yeah next once it's done you wanna go to multiplayer let's make it full screen direct connect open up port map you can copy this IP or get the one from Aussie craft uh, other one from noip.com but I'm gonna show you the normal one first that it works get rid of all of this and I'm gonna paste it in there we go and join server logging in some people got stuck in this area that's because um the port map thing wasn't working for them but this this is working perfectly right now and I can do everything just Amazingly now let me show you that the other IP also works. So it was Aussiecraft PvP dot Zapto dot org join server. Hopefully this works. I'm not sure if this works because I haven't tried it. Uh, I'm not sure if this works though. Nah, it doesn't work. Never mind, you can just use the normal IP or get the one get it get an IP, just search it up on the thing hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and I'll show you once again the server works you can um, opt whoops, yourself sorry. and do everything close this um, go to your settings preferences um, go to energy saver and 
you put the computer sleep to never and display sleep to one minute. Basically what this does is it your computer never goes to sleep but the display like the screen goes black and when you come back on your server will still be running and other people will still be able to play on it. Um so yeah you won't have to shut down so shut down show over. And so to make this work you just leave your computer like this for a minute and it'll go black itself and then your server will still be running and because the computer will be on and it that's only an energy saver it doesn't save too much energy so that's okay but this is how you make it 24 7 so yeah guys thank you for watching hope this helped you and i'll see you guys in the next video remember to leave a like comment down below if you had any troubles i'll try my hardest to help you and that is it. Don't forget to press that subscribe button. And yes, see you guys later.